The Harrier Jump Jet was developed by British aerospace company Hawker Siddeley in the 1960s. The Harrier became renowned for its ability to take off and land vertically, defying traditional notions of fixed-wing aircraft. The idea behind the Harrier originated from the need for a versatile aircraft that could operate from short runways or even areas devoid of airstrips. The result was a breakthrough in aircraft design. The Harrier's unique ability to hover and take off vertically was made possible by its innovative thrust vectoring nozzles. First taking flight in 1967, the Harrier impressed with its vertical takeoff capabilities, showcasing a flexibility unseen in conventional fighter jets. Its development marked a significant leap in aviation technology, offering a solution that could be deployed in diverse combat scenarios. The Harrier jump jet found a home in the British Royal Air Force and later with the U.S. Marine Corps. Its combat debut came during the Falklands War in 1982, when British Harriers played a crucial role in air-to-air -air combat and ground attacks, proving the effectiveness of vertical takeoff capabilities. The U.S. Marine Corps adopted the Harrier in the 1970s, deploying it in various conflicts, including the Gulf War and the Iraq War. The Harrier's agility and ability to operate from amphibious assault ships made it a valuable asset for the Marines, allowing for rapid one notable Harrier incident took place in 1993 during the Bosnian War. A U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B, Harrier piloted by Captain Scott O'Grady, was shot down over Bosnia. Forced to eject, Captain O'Grady survived by evading capture for six days in hostile territory until his rescue. The Harrier's unique vertical landing ability allowed it to operate from a makeshift helipad, facilitating the daring rescue mission of Captain O. Grady. Despite its groundbreaking design, the Harrier jump jet faced retirement due to advancing aviation technology. The last Harriers in active service were decommissioned by the British Royal Air Force in 2011, and the U.S. Marine Corps followed suit in 2020. The retirement of the Harrier marked the end of an era in military aviation. While no longer in active service, the Harrier's legacy lives on. Its pioneering design paved the way for the development of modern vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, influencing the design of subsequent generations of fighter jets.